100 grain 50 pack from cold steel the cheap shot polymer broadhead single blade Please use caution when handling cold steel products. Knives are extremely sharp. Alright. Ooh. God, those things are way bigger than I pictured them. I'm glad I didn't order the 125 grain. Holy crap. This thing is like a spear tip. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, that thing is sharp. Wow, I'm excited. Just the thought of finding an effective broadhead that I can shoot for all purposes, including practice, is huge because I hate tuning broadheads. It's just like a huge pain in the ass. And I know this doesn't have, you know, four or five blades on it and all kinds of features and killing this and chisel point that and and hypodermic this but that's a pretty damn big cutting surface and it seems extremely sharp so if it kills it kills no more tuning broadheads uh, people are going to be skeptical because it doesn't have you know three or four cutting surfaces and all the hoorah that comes with uh, modern day hunting broadheads. There's something new that comes out every season, sometimes twice a year before the season. But check out that cutting surface. That's huge. I believe that's one and a quarter inches on the 100 grain. My God, if I'd got the 125, it'd probably look something like that. These are some of my target arrows here. And here's my quiver of uh, current broadheads. I hunt with an 80 or 85 grain nap thunderheads new archery products <laughs> and three of these three of these cost as much as 50 of those I can already see that these are going to fit in here a little bit differently Wow plenty of room Right now with these broadheads, I've got to finesse them around and get them so they're not touching one another. And But these, probably just go this way. They're just going to line right up. I am now ready to install, hopefully, one of my new cold steel cheap shot 100 grain polymer broadheads. This is one of my target arrows. It's the same arrow I use for hunting. It's a gold tip 7595. And I use the um, 85 grain bullet points because I shoot 85 grain nap thunderhead broadheads. So we'll get this off. Let's see if I can screw this in. Yes, I can. And I don't even know if I need a broadhead wrench. You definitely have to keep your fingers away from the serrated edge because that thing is as sharp as a razor. I mean, it is sharp. Put some pliers right there because you're not touching either of the cutting surfaces and then just give it a little tweak well that didn't take long didn't take long at all
Here we go. It's actually still a good target, but I'll go ahead and sacrifice him. I gotta make sure I keep my hand well above the kill zone. Punches quite the hole. Holy crap. <laughs> 